Yo, 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 this is Mo Verney on the move. Um, I just finished binge watching the season three of Never Have I Ever. Um, you know, this is a spoiler alert. Um, in case everyone have watched the season three, the ending is very interesting. But I'm not surprised that actually, um, Davy is going back to Ben. Um, are you team Ben or are you team Peston? To be honest, I'm very neutral. You know, both have their strengths and weaknesses but if i have to choose i will choose tim ben and i think it actually ben will fit the perfectly for davy i think i think this show is interesting to allow the, the younger crowd the younger generation to realize you know in in in, in fantasy world you want the best hot the most good looking guy but in reality there are more than just the superficial, the material, or just the looks. You know, um, Ben is not bad looking either. Ben is decent looking, he's nerdy, but he's not like super nerd. Like he is actually decent looking, well dressed. He is nerdy, uh, but smart and intellectual. You need intellectual level. And I think all between Paxton and Ben, all Paxton can provide it's the looks, the popularity, high in demand, you get a hot guy. But after that, there's not really in any intellectual uh, connection there. Yes, uh, Paxton finally able to graduate. But at the end of the day, Ben and Davey both are high IQ, really good academic. They can actually motivate each other academically. They, they, and you know what? When you have a guy like Ben who actually unconditionally give it, his all and be there with you every step of the way going thick and thin and that's the guy that you want to have a boy uh you know have a relationship or or even get married to and then ben you know even when they broke up ben is always there for davy and when davy is in in a in a dark space ben is always there without any motives and he cares about her you know very quickly versus where Paxton the moment when they broke up with Davy he already found another girlfriend right but Ben is always there for for Davy and that's my take and now my prediction for uh season four is that I think the cliffhanger was trying to get people to watch season four but I don't think they actually hook up I know that the free coupon was like a free boink but I think nothing went what's going on. I don't think I don't think they actually had sex. So I just feel like it was just a cliffhanger to make people think that they did. I think they just kiss and I I don't think that they actually uh hook up. And I think um I think I think the, the director or the writer would just want to make it like they will probably eventually go with Ben in the future. And then eventually Davy will lose the virginity at end of season four and the finale. But I don't think they will actually have sex early on because I feel Ben will probably tell Davy here, listen, like I want to go go slow. I want to get in the relationship with you to make sure that you're comfortable and ready before uh, we're going to do it. I don't think like Ben is going to go crazy with it.